welcome to the viewers now today discuss how to construct a hamiltonian function of a plane pendulum for this we consider the lagrangian where in the earlier video we write the direct lagrangian of plane pendulum and we directly write this lagrangian equation at first so if theta is called the generalized coordinates then lagrangian is comprises of l theta and theta dot and the square of the function so it's a stationary quantity and independent of time here the lagrangian is is l equals to half of m l square theta dot square plus m g l cos theta it's directly written therefore we have to find if we consider it set the del l del theta dot as p theta therefore p theta equals to it is theta is what is the generalized coordinate of lagrangian del l del theta dot so we part differentiate partially with this lagrangian function and finally we get here half of into 2 ml square theta dot that will be ml square theta dot this term will be zero and therefore we finally find the hamiltonian what the hamiltonian is will be so the hamiltonian function will be so hamiltonian is h equals to p theta into theta dot here like in the earlier video we consider here q dot del l del q y dot but here p theta that will be del l del theta dot theta dot is a theta is a, is a generalized coordinate multiply theta dot minus lagrangian now finally we substitute the value m l square theta dot into theta dot minus putting the value of the lagrangian half of ml square theta dot square minus mgl cos theta so finally if we break ml square theta dot square minus ml square theta dot square minus half of ml square theta dot square minus mgl cos theta so after subtraction it will be half of ml square theta dot square minus mgl cos theta this will be the required hamiltonian function of simple pendulum now we end our discussion thank you